What is up, YouTube? Few days ago, I did a video on on damn, what's it called? On um, what's it called? Freak jealousy, and I uh, one of the things I talked about is. The difference between healthy and unhealthy jealousy when you take that jealousy too far it's unhealthy yeah it, it's it's good to be jealous of guys your man or guys or girls that your man or woman are talking to That's not good. I just came across a very, very good. So there's this girl that I like. I like her a lot. Um, I wanted to be with her. Unfortunately, there were other plans. Um, she met this guy. So, yeah, at first I was a little bit hurt over it. I was upset that I couldn't be with her. And I understood this. Um, I, after meeting the dude, I was like, he seems to be a very respectful, honest, loving dude. He seems to really care about her. I'm glad she was able to meet a guy like me. So I was very understanding about it because, yeah, I'm still having trouble getting over it, but I'm trying to. I want to stay friends with her. And I, I messaged this dude. I would say, hey man, I'm glad that she met someone like you. Uh, to, to be honest, uh, you seem like you really care about her. You seem like you respect her. Tell him that I like her or anything like that. Because like I said, I'm... Um, I was like, I would love to chill with you sometime and hang out and be friends. Um, because any friend of hers is a friend of mine. And he was like, dude, I can tell you care about her. I, I can tell you like her. I'm like, so I was like, yes, and all, I do like her. Uh, we talked for a little bit and I fell for her. That's something out of my hands, something I can't control. What I can't control is what I do next. Um, I told him I'm trying to get over it. I told him I'd like to stay friends with her. Um, I told him i like to be good friends with you too. And he, well you can't. I was like, why? Um, I was like, as long as I'm not trying to get with her and she's not cheating on you, I don't see a problem. He's like, well, I do. Um, I'm like, okay. Um, then, um, then we can work things out. And then he messaged me saying, stay away from her. I'm like, again, I said, sorry you feel that way. Um, I, I promise I'm not going to try anything on her and myself way too much to do that. I, I told him um, <laughs> that she's a really good friend of mine to desert my friends, to abandon my friends. I won't do that. No matter what he says, no matter what he does, I'm not going to do that. Um... Yeah, I know there's no possible way of us being together, and I accept that. And I'm trying to move on with my life, but I'm not just going to abandon her like that. But, um, 
I tried to explain that to him. I explained to him, I respect you for being there for her. I, res I respect you for loving her and treating her with respect. Um, I'm still hoping we can work this out, that we can both be grown adults and be cool with each other. Again, he was like, well, um, if you ever come around again, there's going to be problems, and that's a promise. Again, I told him I didn't want to start any problems. I told him, I respect that you don't want to be cool with me. Um, if you ever change your mind, just let me know. Uh, because I'm pretty much cool with anybody. Um, and he's like, I'm letting her know everything I send you. One, you said everything you send me. Okay, where's everything that I sent you? Um, you you're going to be honest, but you're not going to be fully honest. I mean, at this point, I did when he told me he was going to send her everything that he I, I went ahead and took some snapshots because I didn't want her to get the wrong idea of me. I was trying to be adult about it. And I was trying to... But his jealousy is just far off the charts. And I don't know why he would be jealous of me. Because one, I'm a huge pushover. Yeah, I ain't gonna let some dude beat on me unless I actually deserve it. If I deserve it, I'll go like, hey, throw a few punches. I won't fight back. But I'm gonna protect myself, but I pretty much let everybody tell me what to do. That's really the big reason why this had to happen is because I couldn't be a man and say, hey, be before it ever got to this point, I couldn't be a man and say, hey, I want it. I want That's the big sign that I'm a pushover. Is when I can't tell her that I want her and I want to have less. I can less. Um, I want to be friends with her current boyfriend. Is saying, "Hey, I'm a pushover." Why would he be jealous of that? Number two, yeah, I lost a lot of weight, but who it got with the? I mean, yeah, if you come really close to him for a certain amount of time, you might fall for him. Might. But in this day and age, who wants to be a guy with a guy that has a body like mine? I mean, this dude, he, he's, he's handsome. I ain't gonna lie. No homo. Um, I'm definitely not gay. But um, he, he's got a real nice build. Um, it keeps, I mean, I started doing better about keeping my shit clean, um, keeping my beard, um, but still, ain't gonna lie, he's a lot better looking than me. So, seeing what I look like and seeing what you look like, why you gotta be jealous of that? She ain't ever going to choose someone like me if she's with someone like you. I had a chance because I knew I had a chance. Um, we actually talked about it a lot. Uh, she wasn't ready for a relationship. She wasn't ready for a commitment. She was just getting over a relationship. And I understood this. I knew that she had considered me at one point in time. But when you look at him and you look at me, and you see that he respects her as much as I respect her. And you see that he loves her as much as I love her. I have no chance in hell. And also because I told him. I ain't going to try anything on her. Because I respect her too much. I, I respect myself too much to try to do that while she's with someone. I mean, what type of dude, unless he has low self-esteem about himself, 
is going to get with a girl that's with some other guy. Wayne can do a whole lot better. I definitely don't have low self-esteem issues about myself. I know who I am. I know where I'm going in life. And I'm still trying to respect him, even after all of that. But like I said, this is a really good example about unhealthy jealousy. I'm straight up I wasn't gonna stop being friends with her unless she told me she didn't want that because her decisions too much I'm not going to abandon her like that no matter what the only way I keep my distance from her is if she told me to if it ever comes to that point I'm gonna respect it I'm gonna keep my distance I mean I'm still not going to totally forget about her because like I said, I'm there for anybody who needs me. Um, I'm going to keep my distance. I'm not going to message her. Um, however, if she ever messages me and needs me, I'll be there for her. I mean, I really hope it don't come to that point. Um, because she is a really good friend. She has been there for me. But if it does, I'm ready. Ability and respect her wishes, like I've always done. I'd be honest, it's really got me a little bit ticked off. I mean, I didn't do nothing to this guy. And I explained to him how my feelings are. I explained to him that I would never try anything. I was completely respectful. 